he's giving you both sides of the ball. He's giving you slot and he's giving you DB. Mr. Elijah Williams. Elijah, tell me how it feels finally being back on the football field. Football is a big part of my life, so it just feels amazing, you know. It, get, it gets me away from everything. You know? This is where I can be myself, play hard, and put it all on the field. That's right. Talk about coaches and how they prepared you all to come back mentally and physically. Our coaches were connected with us the whole quarantine. It was never We never missed a beat. We were always studying film on Zooms, and if we seen them in public, you know, we could talk, but there was no scheduled practices. We just, we all stayed connected. We had a group chat with our kids, our own players, and we all just studied film and talked about the season and worked out together. We just stayed sharp over the quarantine. All right. You've two games in now, right? Yes, talk about those games a little bit briefly. How are you feeling? Um, I was feeling great. Um, coming out of Kogan, we all played very hard. I don't think we, at Woodbridge, we played very hard too. Um, I just feel like we have to finish four quarters of football. We have to play four quarters of football. Yes, we blew those teams out, but we have to come next ready for Garfield. We have to play four quarters of football. Absolutely. You look like you're in pretty good shape. How did you maintain that during quarantine? I actually had a, um, one of my mother, I, I used to play for a flag football team and he trained me um, conditioning, speed training, strength. That's how he kept me up. Absolutely. You kept it together. Now, Garfield, this Friday, expectations. For me? Or for, for you, team? for the team. For the team, I expect to come out, blow them out, no defensive touchdowns. Um, I expect us to just roll through and play hard. Rolling through, playing hard. You heard it right here. We'll see this young man and his team this Friday against Garfield.